Hey guys, what would be the worst thing about your diet? What if there was one thing you could change that would make a huge impact on your weight loss? Well today I'm going to go through the 8 most common diet mistakes I come across in the gym. Okay, so first of all, it's normally the type of food that we think about when we talk about weight loss and dieting, such as not eating as much junk food and eating healthier and more nutritious food. So that's number one, that's pretty much a given. Let's move on to some stuff that's probably a little less obvious. So maybe you have a great diet, maybe you eat really great foods, really healthy, really nutritious, but you just eat a lot of it. Perhaps quantity might be your problem. This is where something like using an app like MyFitnessPal or something like that might come in handy where you can start to see just how many calories you're getting in per meal because it might surprise you. Maybe it's planning that might be your issue. So you might, again, have a really great diet most of the time, but occasionally you come home, you've forgotten to go to the shops and you end up ordering out or just making do with what you've got in the house. Maybe it's lunchtime, you've forgotten to take your lunch along, and all of a sudden you find yourself going to the nearest shop and buying something that you probably shouldn't. So that's where planning or meal prep is probably a really great idea. We can get a lot of your meals prepped well in advance. Well, it's not the most fun, but when it comes to achieving success with your diet, it might be the key that you need. Snacking may also be one that goes somewhat unnoticed. I mean, you might be thinking about how much you eat in one day, the amount of calories you're having, and it might be that you just don't realize that you're kind of grazing a lot of the day and therefore getting in more calories than you realize. Another thing that I notice is old advice with weight loss where they used to look at the thermogenic effect you got from eating food um, and notice that it increased your metabolism. So there was this old kind of advice where instead of eating three large meals each day, eat six small meals and therefore kind of keep your metabolism boosted all day long. Well, that has now been proven not to be false, but just big meals get big metabolic effects and small meals get small metabolic effects. So really it's kind of a neither here nor there kind of piece of advice. You're not getting any extra benefit from it. But unfortunately, some people have added snacks to their diet or added extra small meals thinking that it may actually help with weight loss when in fact it's probably hindering their weight loss effects. Let's go on to number five, sugar. And this is where reading food labels comes in really handy because I, I think there's you would find some surprising foods in your cupboard and fridge that have got far more sugar in it than you realized. So it can be a problem because we're getting kind of hidden calories, um, we're spiking insulin levels, so really start to have a look at just what you're eating each day and whether you are having a diet that's low in sugar or maybe it's higher than you think. Excuses. Now, this is an interesting one because I work in a gym and um, you know, I think sometimes people think, I've gone to the gym today, I've done a bit of exercise, so I don't have to be strict with my diet. I can have a dessert or I can eat more than I would otherwise because I've done that little bit of exercise and then wonder why they're not achieving their goals. Or it might be that you see or read something that says, hey, this food's healthy because it's high in antioxidants and you think it's healthy and it may be in that respect, but when it comes to calories and weight loss, it may not be quite as helpful as you think. So keep that in mind. Um, another thing might be macros, so your diet may not be that bad, but it may be heavily weighted with lots of carbohydrates or lots of fat. And sometimes when we get lots of just one macronutrient, it makes it really difficult for us to, to lose weight. So again, have a look, at, you can use MyFitnessPal or something like that again, to have a look at your macros and make sure that you're not just getting ton of carbs in each day or a ton of fat in each day. And I did a video on this the other day, alcohol. So again, you might be having a great diet, but you're having that glass of wine with dinner every night, which is making it really hard for your body to lose that body fat. All right. I hope that's highlighted some things for you. Well, hopefully it hasn't highlighted things for you. Maybe you're not doing any of these things and that would be great. But chances are that if you're having trouble losing weight, 
it could be one of these things and I hope that's helped. Hopefully it'll give you the key to making some advances with your diet and getting to your goals. Any questions, comments, put them below. See you in the gym soon.